All right, I've got so many people asking me about my invention. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tell everybody. That way, um, well, I just won't disappear. Uh, basically, uh, you take an alternator, which is a generator, or a motor, however you wire it up. Really just depends. Um, and you power your house, or you power whatever you want to. Uh, you get about 90 amps uh, alternating current off of these three wires right here that were hooked up to your diodes. Hey, diodes don't do anything but change alternating current over to direct current, which is what your battery is in your car. Okay, you put a little bit of power to this, and you spin this, and you get a good charge out of here. Okay, you can actually put like 12 volts to this, spin your alternator, and you'll get like 90 amps uh, uh, DC direct current, um, you, which is enough to weld with, by the way. Uh, so if you want to build a welder, you can do that. Um, <clears throat> you have your field wires. This is just, I mean, I, I did a lot of different tests and stuff with it, so I have uh, multiple wires going, you know, whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, here we go. Okay, this one's already made. Uh, this is a generator now. Okay, I took my two field wires uh, here and here. And you put anywhere from 3 to 12 volts DC to this. Okay, you, pass, you, you bypass your diodes and you'll get three wires that are actually your coil that, that goes around. It's wrapped around your stator which is this shaft right here. Your stator is back here. Um, it's, it's all really simple. It's just stuff that they really don't want you to know uh, because if you know this, then you don't need the electric companies and then you don't need to pay anywhere from $300 to $1,000 a month for their electricity that they're getting for free. Okay, so let me show you how this works. You put 3 to 12 volts DC to this and you get out 220 volts at about 90 amps right here okay now you can hook that up to a box a uh, a breaker box and well anybody knows about electricity you use a uh, say 100 amp fuse coming off of those wires and it comes down your two poles um, and you've got a wire that you run to a copper pole that goes into your ground outside which is your ground wire uh, why they call it that I, you know uh, but basically put you about six volts here spin your alternator with a motor which by the way look at this oh wow hey look probably just a little circuit with diodes power in the stator so that you have a motor but anyways um, you can use an airplane controller or you can plug this into your wall and put direct current to this and then you will have a high powered motor that's not going to go out there's many different ways to do this the way I did it very simple okay I put six volts here I spin this with a motor, I get an extreme amount of power out of this that I just tied into a uh, junction box wire coming off of my house. Nothing, you know, it's not rocket science, that's why they told me if I continued doing this I wouldn't live very long but if you got two of these do the math I mean 90 amps that's a lot of power okay you got two of them that's 180 amps you don't need that much for your house you got these three diodes right here you take those out and you will have three wires 
that are coiled around your stator. Your stator. You put DC power to these. You get AC power coming off of the coil. Very simple. Field wires need the direct current because they, you can see that little copper thing in there, maybe, maybe not, it looks round. It has magnets on it that these wires are actually hooked to the magnet and they touch there, so it's a brushless motor. Um, but used like this, it's, uh, it's a high power generator. You've got three of them, and you're gonna power whatever you want, okay? This I used because it's already got a capacitor on it for my alternating current. It's already got, the it's, it's set up already. It's already got diodes and everything in it. I don't have to do anything to it or, or put, you know, direct current to my stator and then alternating current to my field wires to produce a high powered motor. So, I don't know, any questions? I mean, I, yeah, like I said, I took this one apart because they said if I continued doing what I'm doing, then I wouldn't live very long. Well, guess what, buddy? I'm in the middle of the woods now. Come find me. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. How you like my hammock? I love it. All right, and you guys out there have any questions, let me know.